guys, welcome back to Make It with Mod Podge. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Kathy Fillion and I've got a really fun upcycling project for you today. I'm going to be taking an old cookie tin and creating a really cute Valentine gift box. This is super easy to do and I bet you have most of the supplies already. The one thing you're gonna need to grab though is some Valentine themed napkins. Now of course this idea could be used for any holiday, any birthday, any season. So go ahead and grab some fun napkins and I'm gonna show you how you make over an old cookie tin. For this project, we're gonna use some full cart home decor chalk, the Valentine napkin, Mod Podge and satin, and of course our cookie tin. Now cookie tins that are flat work the best, but you can certainly use a raised metal one as well. The first thing that we're gonna do is use our chalk to just paint a base coat onto our tin. And this will serve a couple of purposes. One is that we'll be getting rid of the original printing, but we're also creating a blank canvas for our napkin so that the graphic on the napkin will really pop. We're gonna separate the plies of the napkin. We're only gonna work with the top printed ply. This can be a little bit tricky, but a small piece of tape on the corner can help you separate that ply a little bit easier. Once that's separated, go ahead and cut out your motif. I'm just gonna do a heart shape since it's Valentine's. Now I'm using a little spray water. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my napkin and that will just help with wrinkles just to get it a little bit damp. You don't want it saturated. Now I'm gonna apply the Mod Podge satin to the top of my lid and I'm just doing a nice thin coat. You don't need too much. Then you'll place your napkin right into the center. Then you'll just use your fingers to smooth out the napkin and get it into position. Just press gently, you don't wanna tear your napkin, but just go ahead and press down and smooth out any wrinkles using your fingers. Then I like to set that aside and let it dry for about 15 minutes. And then I give it a top coat with the same Mod Podge formula. Once that's dry, I go ahead and I'm going to paint around the portion that's not the napkin. So I've just color matched some red paint. And this is really just a base coat for our glitter. I like to put a base coat of paint down before the glittering. For the glitter, I'm using some chunky glitter in red, and I'm just using that same Mod Podge satin formula. I'm painting in the areas where I want the glittery look. So for this design, I'm just doing around the heart shape, making sure I get those edges and the top. Then you just sprinkle your glitter on, tap off the excess, and keep working around the entire lid until you are finished with your design. I like to do this in stages. It's just a little neater that way, and it's a little bit more detailed. Okay, let's add a little bling to our lid. I'm just using a collection of rhinestones and that same Mod Podge satin formula. Just go ahead and add a dot or two of that Mod Podge wherever you wanna add a gem. And I'm using a wax pencil. This is like from the office supply store. Some people call it a grease pencil. And they're so great just to pick up your gem and place it right into that Mod Podge. Now the Mod Podge is gonna dry perfectly clear. It's really one of my favorite formulas for setting rhinestones onto projects. Okay, now let's fill up our tin. I'm doing all sorts of cute bath and body products, but you can fill this with any kind of Valentine treat. Look how adorable this turns out. From an old cookie tin into a upcycled Valentine gift box. 
How easy is that? I know you're gonna be looking at those tins a little bit differently now, thinking how could I make those over? Let's take a look at all the cuteness that's inside of this. Now I filled this with some bath and body stuff, but of course you could actually fill it with some homemade cookies, even art supplies, even chocolates, whatever you want. All right, I wanna see what you're making and so does everybody at Plaid. So make sure you use those hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts so everyone can see what you're making. I'll be back here next week with another fun crafty idea. And until then, have a great week.